In this tutorial, we're going to create our first bunch of views. So in the last tutorials, we already set up a cake PHP application, add some models, some controls, and add the bunch of plugins. Now we're going to make some views and we're going to use the bunch of scar folding library for that. So let's start simple. We we have our um, already defined models. We have an author and we have a book, have a book uh, model. And for the book model, we at first just want to create two sample entries. So we have a cool book one. And sorry, cool book. And we have an awesome book. It's the same date. And right now we don't use the cover or the author ID that's going to be used later. Perfect. So now we're going on the bunch side to the resources. And we're going to look at the instru installation instructions. Our plan now is currently when we're opening the local host, we just see the kphp setup side. That's not what we are after. So now we're going to start and make a HTML page which will be uh, powered by XGS. So from the installation page, you already did the first step of copying the JavaScript and the CSS files to the correct places. So we're just going to copy this code. And with the usage of that, we're going to make inside our web root a new file which is called index.html. So every time you hit the server this page will be opened. It's HTML and we have a head here. The title here is awesome app. No. Okay, and now we copy and paste in the code. Make here sure that if you're using the, the GitHub version, you remove the dev here because the GitHub version is not pre compiled. Okay, now let's apply some basic styles. So we'll have an H1 which definitely should be red. It should be quite big. And we want to center it. Okay. And now let's add a margin so it looks a bit nicer. 20 pixel, 200. Okay. Okay. My first bunch of app. Okay. So let's see that. Okay, now you can see we are now presented the newly created file, but nothing is yet in. So our next page is we want, and next step is we want to see how Bunch is actually doing that. We're now going to code some JavaScript. So normally, when you start some Bunch of code, you start with Bunch on model ready. Here you can either define just one model, like here, like I want to load the book model, or you can define an array of models, so we want right now to load both models. And when they are ready, we have a callback function, which will just tell us that it's ready. Okay, and now you can see it's already ready. And when we look at the network layer, nothing has happened. Well, the reason why is because in the default configuration, 
here it's loading all the models already. So when we open that in, in the browser to see what's going on, we can see that Bunch is already telling us how the model looks with the, with the metadata here. That's really handy if you have a few models. If you're working on a business application where you have maybe a hundred models or even more, that's not quite useful to preload all the data. So in these cases, you will not preload the data, just the API, by removing that. So now we're just loading the bunch API without the metadata, which is like 90% less. And now when we open the page again, we can go to an network layer, we clear it, and now when we're doing the on-model ready, you will see that Buncha is asking the server for the, con uh, the metadata and gets all the definitions about the fields and the associations and validation rules and all of that. Okay, so our next step will be that we want to create a store. So we just can create a simple um, X store, so X data store, and and as model we define buncha dot model dot book. So every kphp model is namespaced by buncha dot model. Okay, and well here actually nothing is happening yet, so let's add a store. Okay, so now we have a store variable. No, sorry, it's that was okay. Um, of course, that shouldn't be in here. I should know that. Okay. So now we have a store mod. Okay, perfect. So now when we have the store, we can, well, let's first look at the network layer. Nothing had happened. Now let's tell the store to load. And now you can see Buncho did another request in the back end, which asked the server by read about all the books. So we have here our cool book and we have the awesome book here. Now when we ask the store about the size, we are getting two because we have two entries. So that works perfectly out of the box. Okay, but since that's not really visual, now we want to make something happen on the page. For that we are going to use our scaffolding library. A scaffolding library takes the definitions of your associations, models, uh, model fields and validation rules and applies that for grids and form fields. You can also use the scaffold library without the bunch of backend. So if you're working on a totally different project, you always can use our scaffolding library and it's completely free. Okay, so let's make it really easy and just take the example code here. We're copying that and we're adding it here uh, with another script tag. So I don't have to write it in the browser all the time. Script we already know that, a bunch of model ready. We take the book and in the callback here we are creating a crit panel. The name is buncha.model.book title Nice grid, and we're rendering it to the body. Perfect. Now we have to look for the installation instructions, and we can find here that we first have to download the 
code. And since we really like the fam 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 icons, we're going to download these as well. Please make sure that the license of fam 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 is working for you. Okay, and we just copy and paste the styles here inside our application. Okay, and now our scaffolding library is missing. So here we download this one, and inside we find um, the JavaScript. We are currently just taking the debug version, and we are copying that into our application JavaScript folder. Okay. And and add it here. Okay. And it's here under JavaScript. Perfect. Okay, now let's also add the icons here inside here. We're using just that icon folder. We're copying that into our application. And in the image folder. Okay. And now let's open the page again. Okay, perfect. Um, and cloud. now let's also add a frame so it looks better because we don't have any other XGS on the side yet. Okay, and now we can see that that XGS created a grid here, or our scaffolding, and a bunch of is loading the data here. It's provided by the models. Um, the scaffolding already recognized the fields, created delete functions, save functions, reset. So let's create another model. We call that um, the first bunch of book. And it will be out, let's see, 2013. That sounds good. And save it. And when we now look in the database, we can see we have the new entry. We can change data. And we can delete data. Okay, and everything is saved to the server in, so in the back end and works really good out of the box. Okay, I hope you liked the tutorials and you can, you can find the scaffold library on the scaffold.pancheproject.org and in the next screencast we're going to create an exposed controller method. So, Watch out for it.